Hello, it's Adam from Collection DX with my quick video review and transformation of the concept version of the Camaro Bumblebee. Uh, everybody in the cause I know I'm a little late to the party, so to speak, but it took me a while to get my hands on one of these and then the last month or so he's been I've been playing with them and whatnot and I just, you know, haven't gotten around to it. So I'm putting it up here because Basically, everybody was singing its praises. Everybody's just been going on about how great a toy, and it is. It is a really decent toy, but there are some real fatal flaws with this one that I think buyers should be aware of. Um, still, incredibly hard to find, even at this point in retail. Uh, most of the major Transformers have been. They tend to go pretty quick. But um, transformation, oh, pardon me, didn't mean to bump the camera there. Let me zoom out here so you can get a better view of. <coughs> so transformation, pretty straightforward. Before I do that, I want to get in here, I want to show you a couple things. When I got this, it was brand new. And I'll be honest, I do, don't really abuse my toys. I mean, I'll occasionally take one off the shelf, transform it. So I probably transformed Bumblebee here. Uh, maybe a dozen times, maybe maybe 14 or 15, but no more than that. And as you can see, and I know it's showing up on the video, we got a couple things happening here. Um, the paint, the black, is already really flaking off big time. Anywhere the black has been painted on and gets handled, it is rubbed off. It's normal wear and tear. No, it doesn't bode well for something to hold, stand the test of time. But so you open the doors. Voila, like so. And then basically you're going to separate the legs. Very much if you've got the classic version, very similar. The gun plugs in between his legs. Now, um, the classic version of Bumblebee came with missile launchers. This version comes with a blaster and can hold in his hand. But another nice touch is there's actually a blade in there that he can use, which is a very nice little feature, I thought. So... All right, so here we go. Pretty much you're just going to... Now, I'm really hoping, uh, traditionally 9 out of 10 times I do this, the pieces I have a problem with always do this problem. So we'll see if it happens during the review, and if not, I'll mention it after the fact. Legs pretty much just extend out. Arms are right in here. I'm going to kind of bring those out a little bit. And very easily, then basically these pull right out. We're pretty straightforward. I'm going to flip this. All right. And then basically you got to grab the door and rotate. Then you got to kind of wiggle the arms out. It's a little finicky here. Nope, didn't do it. Nine out of ten times when I transform this. These little yellow parts here they pop right off, especially when I put it in car mode. Um, honestly, you can dab a little crazy glue on the peg, put it in, toy will be fine. Probably never have the problem again. I just wanted to just kind of save it for the review because I just, you know, it just really been bugging me for some reason. I just didn't really sit well, so just gonna see. There it goes. So I'm taking those off for the moment because just handling him, they tend to fall off. Straighten up the arms. Finish flipping the doors out, and voila! The gun in his hand. You've got yourself a bumblebee. Yay. All in all, I mean, it's not a bad toy. Um, I really would not recommend people paying the collector prices they have been online. Yeah. yeah, sure, it might be worth retail, but the other thing, too, I've noticed is the leg, it'll just, it, it comes, you know, and granted, to their credit, at least the toy's not breaking, but it's the first of the movie Transformers that I've picked up that comes apart at the drop of a hat and I haven't been real real happy with that and of course you flip the little chest shields up and pose them 
That's pretty much it. His arm movement, especially up on the shoulder, is limited by the uh, wheel design up here. Um, it's a little irritating, something you kind of have to work around when you're posing. So it's not as fluid a figure as everyone has been raving about. It's not a bad figure. It certainly looks good. Excuse me. Certainly decent looking, but uh, all in all, yeah, guys, I'm not a, not a big fan here. So I uh, buyer beware. Like I said, though, maybe, maybe the type that buys it puts it on the shelf and never touches it, and it's fine. I, on the other hand, wasn't real happy with the paint rubbing. But all in all, I'm giving it a thumbs up, but reluctantly, because of those reasons. So there you go. It's the concept version of Bumblebee. Yay! Thanks for watching.